Um, told me he was going to take me to jail, and I was put in the back of the car. I wasn't interviewed. I wasn't asked any questions. Um, <clears throat> nothing. I was put in the car, with, and then the door closed. That was it. And then as the as minutes started going, more deputies started coming. And I think I counted 10 deputies. Um, ten, and dep- 10 deputies. I think... I mean, five minutes could seem like 30 minutes. I'm not real sure how long I was in the back of the car, but I was back. No one came to interview me. No one came to talk to me. I'm I'm close. I know why you're sitting in the back seat. What I could hear was, we're waiting to hear from the owner. We're waiting to hear from the owner. And so um, I could hear bystanders outside saying, there's Danny Lawler. He's, he's over there videoing. We just keep doing this for a video. Um, and at my thought is, um, I'm going to jail. I, I mean, I was put under arrest. I'm going to jail. I cannot believe this. I don't, you know, and, and it, it's very intimidating when there's 10 deputies out there. You know, do I ask questions? Do I not? I don't know. I've never had to do this before. So I kept my mouth shut. So I kept my mouth shut. I, I didn't know. I don't, I don't, I didn't know my right. Uh, without your attorney present. Do you understand the rights that I explained to you? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, he, I guess as time went by, I don't really know what was going on. The sergeant over that area, um, I don't know his name, came up to me. Stephen Douglas. Okay, Sergeant Stephen Douglas opened the door and he said, um, why are you on this side of town? Why are you over here? You know, where do you live? And I said, well, I live in South Shreveport, but, we, you know, we frequent, we live in Shreveport. We live in Caddo Parish. Said, Why are you on this side of town? Why do you need to be over here? Um, I told him we had a hangar at the downtown airport. I told him, I, you know, I have family that live on this side of town. He's like, well, you know, you need to just leave Danny alone. <laughs> I want you to just leave Danny alone. And I said, Well, I don't I don't talk to Danny. I don't know I don't know him. I don't talk to him. I'm not doing anything to him and Telling him, well, what about me? What about the the restraining order that expired, and then he harasses me after it expired? What, what about him hulking over me in the restaurant, and his his employees following me with video cameras? What about my reports that I have filed? What about the people that are watching me at my house? What about all those reports? You know, well, as soon as I started speaking. Close the door in my face. Didn't want to hear it, and um, so it was all my fault. It was, it was, it was. Leave Danny alone, or, or you're going to be sent to jail. So it was like a threat, and that's how I felt. And and I am very pro police, 100. percent My kids love police officers. I encourage them to talk to them, to trust them. And I've never understood this whole movement of what's going on with 
police officers and people being treated badly, I, you know, but I can definitely understand. It, it was a, a very traumatizing event. It could have been, it could have been way worse and people have been treated way worse. But from what I understand, um, it's no different than a man that doesn't have a badge on coming up and taking me and kidnapping me. It's like, because he had a badge on, it was okay for him to arrest me. But if he didn't have a badge on, I would have called the police for kidnapping. Are you stupid or something? No, I had no idea. I didn't know what to do. I kept asking, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Uh, you know what you're being arrested for? Okay. You're being arrested for any after being forbidden. Okay. Earlier today, you were banned. For- so Annie was bawling. I don't mean I'll keep interrupting, but Annie was bawling, crying, and everyone out there, every single deputy out there, all ten of them, saw her begging and pleading with them just to tell her what was going on. Uh, you know what you're being arrested for? Okay. okay. You're being arrested for any after being forbidden. Okay. Earlier today. You were banned from this establishment, is that correct? No. No? I've got, she had two little kids waiting at home to be picked up. She told them, she begged and pleaded with them, and not one, not one deputy that was staying around her showed any sympathy whatsoever. They sat there and allowed Danny Lawler to video this just to get a, just to get a story for his paper. So the deputy that was in front of me was talking to me, and I asked him, I said, look, I, I do understand the law, and I am a law enforcement officer for the past 13 years where I said, so look, I... I said, what is she being arrested? What, what's she placed under arrest for? He said, felony entering and remaining. I said, well, I said, well, I need something saying that she was banned. I said, do you have any paperwork? Do you have anything saying that she was banned? Because I have something saying that she's not, which is recorded conversation with the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office saying that she wasn't banned. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't care to hear it. And so, um, well, so so a couple of deputies. So to get further into it, Amy's just crying and uncontrollably. And, and I told him, I said, "Listen, what if this was your wife or your or your child, your daughter or your mother? It was in the back of this car, pleading for someone just to tell her what she's done and what she did wrong. She was already advised by the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office that she could be here to eat. And she wasn't banned. I mean, now what? Did you trick her? Was it, did the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office set her up? Tell me what happened. He said, "Listen, I hear this all the time." I've had people threaten to rape my family, do this, and it just goes with the territory. No, 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 it doesn't come with her territory, and it doesn't. Come and as a father, I mean, and I mean, it's it's not going to happen. And 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 especially for the mother of your children, it's not going to happen. So luckily, there were two other, there were two good deputies that are or, or two or three that were over by the wall between La Freshetta and and Trejos. They went down to La Freshetta to talk to this Daniel Rodriguez, who is uh, uh, I mean, not doesn't have much backbone. So they went down there. And one of these deputies came back and said, um, there's com- some confusion. He said, I spoke with Mr. Trejo, and they're not banned, and they never were banned. Well, about the same time this deputy came back, and that sergeant heard him say that, within a, I don't know, maybe a minute or less, yeah. he said, the, the sergeant, while he was uh, in my face, yelling at me, telling me that not to be on social media. and they were asking if people were videoing in which they were and i'm glad they were thank you to those of you the bystanders and our friends that did video this and thank you for the footage because it needed to get out so at that time the sergeant stephen douglas said i want all cattle units out of here now every one of you get up and get out of here now at that time, they went to the car, the, the rookie officer went to the car, unhandcuffed Amy, and then what did he tell you when he unhandcuffed you? Don't, I don't want to see you 
back and I don't want to see these cuts on you again. Not one arrested. He just wants her to understand never to come back here or she will be. So anyway, so he started yelling. So one of the, so then about that time, the two deputies that, that were wonderful from their, from their uh, previous event, they pulled up. They'd been on a call. They pulled up and got out and walked toward us because they were there to, to tell the truth and to tell these other deputies once again that, that we were not banned, that they had firsthand information, they had spoken with the owner that they knew and that they had already told us we weren't banned. So right. once, once they walked up, the sergeant called this deputy by name and said, deputy, and said his name, Get in your car now. It's time to go. He spoke. He spoke down to this other deputy. Everybody, get in your cars and let's go. 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 And talk to them like they were like they were like they were bad kids. Every time you hit your car, you go, yes sir. 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 Yes